much just so whatever hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I am finally showing you around my sewing room um, it's kind of a long video kind of a short video actually for my channel but I hope you enjoy it um, I got nothing else subscribe if you want or don't feel free to give it a thumbs up comment below if you enjoyed it I don't know and uh, yeah that's it As we walk down the stairs, there's this ledge of a few things that make me happy. Gifts from friends, cute stuff. Funko Pops. My husband and I did a very poor job painting. Um, and then as I walk down the stairs, I see all these pictures that I've gotten to take on my travels with various friends, a lot of the same friends. <laughs> and then if I turn to the right, there is um, a lot of my back stock, storage, etc. Sometimes I'll take photos up against this wall when it's cleared out. And then turning to the left, is my cutting table and my sewing space. Um, in case you guys were interested in some people on this wall. This was actually our first one that we got done together. This one was the first one that I did with my sister. She was from iZombie, so that's my sister Emily. Most of these are with my business partner Ashley. We run a pin company together. Another long bottom. And then these are with my husband. Look, they're twins. <laughs> All right, enough of that. So, when we walk into the main area, I've got um, my packing station over here. Got a lot of junk. Um, I sell neckties, so I store things for that over here. I've got various hangers, etc. Stuff all over the floors. A cart full of things I need to deal with. Um, outgoing bags. I've got my printer down below. All my boxes and stuff under the tables. Um, I get my packing paper from Ikea. They have free packing paper, which is awesome. My calendar, which is still on December, even though it's January. <laughs> and that just has like business cards, poly mailers, packing tape, bags for shipping. More boxes. Um, I have these little carts here. I used to keep my hardware in this one, but I upgraded to a larger one. Um, and then this one stores enamel pins for my other company that I run. And then all kinds of artwork from conventions that I've purchased. This one was a gift that I love so freaking much. Um, she runs a company called Send Me Instead. And she makes greeting cards that are the cutest. Um, so this is my computer space. This is the chair that I sit at to pack orders or design um, sewing patterns. All kinds of good stuff. More artwork from conventions. And then some of these are pins that I've designed. Some that I've traded. Some that I've purchased. And my desk is usually actually a bigger mess than this, but I love buying these like $1 sheets from Target to uh, write stuff on. Um, 
And then this is my laptop. This is where I design a lot of fabrics, um, pins, etc. And then I have a Silhouette Cameo that I use a lot of the time too. Uh, this is where I store the heat transfer vinyl for that. And then I have excess pin, inventory, outgoing mail. Um, and up here, these are embroidery hoops that I've purchased. Most are from uh, a woman named Carissa. And she's amazing. <laughs> Uh, I actually made one of these, and uh, it's the worst one here. This one. I was actually attempting to recreate this lady's work before I was able to be lucky enough to purchase one. Um, and she is Iggy Starpup on Etsy. She makes the most amazing hoops. This one is even painted with uh, iridescent glitter. It's amazing. Okay, enough of embroidery hoops. Over here, um, I have a little bit of a divider so that I can kind of keep this separate but still very open. And I keep um, excess woven fuse, excess fabric, shirts. These here are full of zippers. And then I have even more fabric, interfacing scrap bin, all kinds of stuff there. Um, I have these rolly carts to kind of stack I, uh, things that I'm working on, etc. there. So this is my view from the packing area. Um, these are all my cotton, or these are my cotton lycra knits for making clothing if I feel like it. Various fabrics that I'll probably never use. And these are fabrics I've designed that I need to make something with. This is where I store my interfacing. This is full of vinyl, and I'll show you more as we get closer. Hopefully you didn't hear me burp. Either way, you know I burped because I said it. I'm human, it's fine. Um, so I have like 12 trash cans in the basement and my husband gets so mad, but whatever. Um, so now this is my view from the cutting table. These are actually drawings that I've done based on Parks and Recreation. And then these are embroidery hoops that I purchased from someone. So I've got my zippers. This is all scrap interfacing that I don't even need. I don't know why I keep it. Um, these store all of my templates. So I got these from Ikea. They're really cool. They're actually shoe holders. But when you open it up, I've got all these templates. Um, and then these are here because I at some point wanted to write what was in there. But instead I just look for them and it works, I guess. Um, so I have two heat presses. And they're on a height adjusting table from Ikea. These are also from Ikea. I keep sewing patterns and fabric and leather in them. These are my heat presses. Yep, they're usually that much of a mess. <laughs> and then my cutting table is actually um, something my dad and I made together, which was really cool. There are two Ikea shelves put together with a pretty large piece of wood on the top and bottom and then wheels so it moves. And then these bins are from Ikea too. I added the measure, cut, sew, repeat. I thought it was pretty cute. Um, they're just full of junk. <laughs> I literally never use the cubes in a way that makes sense to me. It's kind of annoying, honestly. Um, so yeah, this is where I spend a lot of time standing and cutting. I get to watch TV if I want. I got this cool cart off of Amazon. Um, and there actually used to be a bar right here and I had my husband take it away, re replace the tile because I wanted an area where my friends could come and sit and hang out uh, while I sew. And then I also have a nail station so that my mom can come and do her nails or I can if I so feel like it. Um, but yeah, so this is my cutting table. It's full of junk. Often this is where I, not often, this is where I pack hardware orders to. Um, I can move the table and push it up and back. Um, I love the fact that there's storage down here. It's mostly where I keep all of my leathers, um, projects I might work on. This is my scrap bin. I try to clean it out yearly. <laughs> we'll see. Sorry if it's a little shaky. Where I store my rolls of vinyl from my punk broidery. More leather. This is like my cube of 
Maybe I'll work on it someday. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So this is all of my hardware. I actually just added this last bin today. Uh, I bought all of these from the container store. They're like five bucks a piece, which is awesome. And I've just zip tied them together. Hopefully they never fall over. Also, I apologize if you have OCD and the colors not being exact or freaking you out. <laughs> I just kind of bought them because I thought they were pretty. But here's an example of how this thing moves. And I can shove it out of the way. And when I move it, there is an awesome mat so that I can stand for hours and pack your guys' orders. There it is in all its glory. Okay. So the next part is kind of like the hangout area. Um, it's not usually this messy, but let's be real, it is usually this messy. Um, a lot of these my friend Angelina made, not for me, but she crocheted this little soot sprite. Yeah, the donut pillow. This blanket is actually my own fabric design and I just dragged and dropped the colors from this carpet I purchased so it matched. And usually it's cute and organized. These are my Funko Pops. A lot of these were gifts, um, but they're based on my favorite shows. So there's Rick and Morty, Powerpuff Girls, Harry Potter, iZombie, Supernatural, and Parks and Rec is, yeah, pretty much it. Bob's Burgers, of course, of course. And then this little treat yourself banner, I always forget what's behind it, but it's actually the electrical box. And I actually sewed this up one night from a tablecloth that I purchased a really long time ago. And then this banner was from my friend Ashley's bachelorette, no, bridal shower. Um, so I just taped them up there using double-sided tape, and so far, so good. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. And then I've got this great little desk from Ikea. This awesome table from um, World Market. And now comes the best part, where I am most of the time. This is where all of my sewing machines reside. And initially when I moved in, I actually wanted this little part to be the cutting and sewing area. Um, and while I had that set up for just a little while, I was like, you know what's funny is I actually spend more time cutting and interfacing, so let's switch that up. And it's worked out really perfectly. Um, I will admit that this is kind of cramped sometimes to get in and out, especially if I'm filming, um, but it works. It keeps me from leaving. So I'm like trapped inside. Uh, this is where Ben sleeps most of the time. Then I have some more storage there. These are a bunch of movies. Life size is the best. Come at me, bro. Oh wow, there's a magnetic seam guide that I should probably use sometime. Anyway. Again, more art that I've purchased at conventions. This is my rivet station. I actually bought that stool at Ikea in the as is section. I think it was like 20 bucks and it's worked out perfectly for rivets. Um, I used some non-stick mats for like plates and whatnot. And that was actually my friend Nikki's idea. Um, this is where my mount is for filming. Um, the link to purchase that from Amazon is in the links below. Pretty cool, it was really cheap and the light like turns on, it's so nice. Um, so the pegboards were also from Ikea. They're normally white, but let's be real, I had to spray paint them pink. And I use it to store all my zippers. Um, these are full of rivets. Oh, so satisfying. Um, and this is just vinyl that I cut on my machine. It's actually sparkly too. Hey. My light switch, Lumos. Knox. Um, and then this door here just leads to um, the excess storage area. This is my 
ironing board that moves around quite a bit. Um, this is just a cheap iron from Target that has an automatic shutoff and a very nice steam setting, so I like that. Um, this is my sewing machine. You know this very well. Um, this is where I store a lot of the tools that I grab a lot. Um, there's my name plates at the top. Most used tools within these top three drawers. I've got name tags, um, my double-sided tape, spare zippers, spare piping, bobbins, um, some of my most used hardware is there too. And then on top, I have these fun little ceramic containers. My friend Ashley painted this one and it was kind of a misfire. Um, so I get to see it every day, it makes me happy. Um, my templates from By Piera. A lot of you guys have been asking where to purchase this one and it's from By Piera. Uh, the link is definitely down below. Um, yeah. And this is my other sewing machine. I don't use it as often, but it's great for um, just simple sewing. This is my cylinder arm. We don't play much, but I still like it a lot enough. Um, this is uh, interface, not interfacing, it's a water soluble stabilizer for embroidery. And then I've got all these little hooks for things that I really never use. Lots of threads. Um, when I thought I was obsessed with the bonded polyester 42, which we all learned I'm not. Embroidery thread. And then this is my uh, embroidery machine. It's a PE 770, it's a five by seven embroidery. And then I have a brother cover stitch, which I've used twice to make my niece dresses. Um, and then I have two of these brother sergers. One I use for exclusively knit fabrics. And then the other one I use for making canvas totes and stuff like that. One of my favorite art prints. This is by um, Sarah Watts. And then uh, I've just got this little board over here. Me and my sisters on my wedding day. <laughs> and some of my favorite pins. And cat hair, cause why not? Um, and then this is the last little area. I store a lot of my embroidery things. That's an empty bin that I could probably utilize towels, more towels, and then these are um, fabrics that I use for applique, and uh, trash can, my other serger, these doors, and then this is the view from back here. Oh yeah, up in the windows I have little stuffed animals, <laughs> like a, a weirdo. Funny story, CJ actually bought me six of these bunnies for Easter one year. I don't know why. He knows I love bunnies, but what a weirdo. <clears throat> Some more artwork. This is actually um, a little watercolor drawing that I did so that I would know how to thread this machine because I rarely use it. <laughs> um, hopefully someday I can sell prints like this because art is definitely my first love. Uh, yeah that is pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out while I showed you my most intimate parts my sewing area oh yeah I guess I never went over this shelf so never mind uh, here's all my waterproof canvas quilting cottons more quilting cottons interfacing interfacing vinyl um, and then just regular quilting cottons there and then more vinyl because there's never enough. Okay, and that's it. I promise I'm done. Bye!